I think it's really unfair to direct this attitude towards court. Starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Correct. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is absolutely no news that Kanye is now a sworn enemy of the Car Jenners, and because of this, we see him spilling their tea without hesitation. But this time, he's got some things to say about Kris Jenner's boyfriend, Corey Gamble, and best believe that they are not pleasant things at all. Ready for more of this juicy gossip? Then welcome to Gay Bible, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram for the hottest topics in the industry. We know Corey is Kris Jenner's sweetheart, but Kanye doesn't think he's such a sweet person. In fact, Kanye believes that Corey is a godless person. Now, there was a time when Kanye West took to Instagram to shade Corey, saying he was godless and that God has plans to remove the godless. Now, here are his exact words. God has a plan to remove the godless. Corey never needed to be here anyway. And I think he's a nice person, not a great person. A nice person who used to be around Puff's family, then got around Justin Bieber. And then when Chris got divorced, he slid in. Now guys, this was a lot coming from Kanye West and that post definitely got us assembling some connectives regarding Corey's relationship with Justin Bieber and Diddy. First off, the internet is buzzing with rumors that Diddy groomed Justin Bieber just like he did us like there was a time when he gave Justin Bieber a house and a car at a very young age, which made people wonder what his actual plans were for Justin, considering his history of having sexual relationships with underage boys. But yeah, yeah, the keys is yours when you, you know, when you get 16, you're All good right. to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. And then when you get 18, you get the house. Okay. Okay. Now, Corey has some relationship with Diddy, just like with other high-profile people in the industry, like Steve Harvey, Jay-Z, and others. In fact, we believe he's really close to Diddy because he posted a picture of himself and Diddy's late ex-girlfriend when Diddy hosted a birthday party in memory of her. So guys, you can see that there's a close relationship between Diddy and Corey, which makes us believe, according to Kanye West's accusations, that Corey may have been put in Justin's life to monitor him and to make sure he keeps his mouth shut concerning all the things Diddy and his label are probably having him do. Sounds very wild, right? Well, we say this because it's possible that Corey is a handler in the industry and he's keeping it undercover. So guys, I'd like y'all to consider this fact. Corey doesn't have a Wikipedia profile, which is a huge sign that he's probably into some shady things. I mean, many famous people have Wikipedia pages and everyone knows something about their history, background, or others. But Corey has nothing except info on his hometown and what he studied. As you guys can see, there's no information about Corey. We know nothing about his family life, uh, about where he grew up. I mean, we know he's from Atlanta, Georgia, but we don't know anything about who he really is as a person. This information totally begs the question, why is Corey so secretive about himself? What's he possibly hiding from people? Now, Corey once worked with Justin Bieber as his tour manager, and it was also during this period. He met Chris in Ibiza, and they started hanging out together. <laughs> So yes, Kanye believes that Corey was a handler for Justin when he was using. And this might be true because when Kanye West was talking about his personal trainer who was secretly working as a handler and threatening to institutionalize him, he mentioned something about wondering who was in the house around his children. And we suspect that he was referring to Corey. If Harley was part of intelligence, right? What kind of people you think are surrounding my kids? What kind of people you think are in that house? right now. Handlers are generally believed to be some personal aids to celebrities, but on a deeper level, labels and other authorities use them to keep these celebs in check by making sure they don't do anything that the label or authority company don't want them to do. So, is it possible that Corey was sent to the Car Jenners to monitor some things about them? Well, I guess we might find out soon enough. I mean, Kanye already hinted at this in his Instagram post when he said, he got my wife linked up with the liberals in a deep way. That was his job. For some reason, I always felt he worked for DuPont or some other organization in that pedigree. Now he's off to his next mission. His job is done. But yes, it is highly possible that Justin Bieber was being monitored by Corey when he was still under the wrong influence and bowing to certain people like Diddy. Guys, check out this clip. Starting to act different, huh? 
<laughs> you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did y'all see that? Justin seemed intimidated by Diddy, and Diddy was asking those questions as if Justin was avoiding him or not showing up to do some of the things they usually do. And who knows, that might just be the reason Diddy sent Corey to Justin so he could keep him in check. But Kris Jenner has refused to see Corey in light of how Kanye West describes him. Even though Corey does several weird things around the house, she doesn't think anything's wrong with him. So first, she doesn't think there's anything wrong with the fact that Corey family is unknown to them. And this is one of the things that Kanye believes is a serious concern. I mean, how can you be dating someone whom you allow around your kids and grandkids and you don't even know his family? Check out this drama. I text Corey something really rude. Kanye was like, I think it's weird. Like we've never met his family. Chris's reaction was shocking as she even accused her daughters of feeding Kanye the wrong information, which he takes out of hand. You guys sit and talk sh to Kanye and if you talk sh to Kanye, he's gonna put that up here and run with it. I mean, it is weird. I'm not we saying, I'm it. not saying that we're this. all different. How about you used to be weird? We all put I'm up with each other. Why is Chris so defensive of this man? If we're being honest, Kanye West has a point about the Carjenner family getting to meet Corey's family if he's going to keep having something to do with their mother. But of course, that's entirely up to Chris to decide now, isn't it? Corey's also been rude to other members of the family, like the time when he told Scott to his face that he'd spank his daughter's ass if she scratched him on the face. Scott was really mad at Corey, and he did not hesitate to show his anger. Yeah. Her ass, and yeah, I'll explain I to y'all later. I what? I would have whipped her ass. You would whoop Penelope's ass if she scratched you? I would give her a spanking for sure. My daughter? What the are you talking about? Scratch me. You would whoop my daughter's ass if she touched you? No, scratch me. You would whip my daughter's ass if she scratched you? A little six year old girl? That's what the f are you talking about? That's the problem. Stop it. Now we all know Scott's kids may be rude because some family members took Corey's side when he said he'd spank her. But it was also cause for concern that Corey even had the idea of laying hands on another person's child. That's really disrespectful on so many levels. But of course, Corey gets away with anything in the Carjenner house, and there's not much anyone can do about it. But some members of the Kardashian family, like Chloe, have given some thought to Kanye's suggestions about this man, and she opened up to fans saying, Corey does tend to be pretty secretive and that does have me pretty guarded. We don't know Corey like that. Can you imagine that? Corey's got some people in that house feeling uncomfortable and Kris Jenner probably doesn't even care about any of this. She's against the fact that Kanye West speaks out against Corey and is unwilling to consider that what Kanye and others are saying might be true. I think it's really unfair to direct this attitude towards Corey. Almost every Everyone believes that Chris and Corey's relationship is more of business than born out of love. Considering Chris Jenner's status and how much money she has, many people think she is just Corey's sugar mama and that Corey's just enjoying her money and the it comes with being Chris Jenner's boyfriend. An insider revealed to People magazine that Corey has no plans of marrying Chris Jenner, and this is all the more reason why we are suspicious of his true motives around the Car Jenners. And also, Corey doesn't have a good history with his ex, Sheree Buchanan. Cherie has also exposed Corey as being an opportunist and a stalker. The star opened up in an interview where she said, I know Corey. He's all about power and money and will do whatever it takes to get it. But Cherie didn't just stop there. She also said that Kris Jenner wasn't Corey's type and that Chloe was more his type than Chris. But because of Chris's money and power, he definitely stick around. She also exposed that Corey physically abused her and would come to her house unannounced because he somehow got got the keys to her place, which made her change the lock of her house. So that's it guys on Corey. As you can see, there are so many shady things happening around him and we can't help but fear for the Car Jenners as this guy seems to be a pretty dangerous person from what certain people are saying. But who knows, we may just be wrong about him. So we'll keep an eye out for anything that may change that narrative in the future.